To begin our definitions, we will restate the definition of an angle, which is the union of two rays sharing a common endpoint. Next, we define a very specific type of angle, an angle whose measurement is less than 90 degrees. We call these angles acute angles. Acute angles are the smallest of all of the angles which we will be discussing today. Recall that a right angle is an angle whose measurement is exactly 90 degrees. While oftentimes we will draw these right angles using horizontal and vertical lines, a right angle could be drawn at any orientation. After a right angle is the obtuse angle. An obtuse angle lies between 90 and 180 degrees. An obtuse angle visually uh, is bigger than a right angle and bigger than an acute angle, but it is not as big as a line. Remember that all lines form straight angles, and those are angles whose measurements are 180 degrees. It's nice to remember that in an entire circle is 360 degrees, so a line cuts a circle in half has 180 degrees as the measurement of its angle. Finally, an angle whose measure is bigger than 180 but less than 360 is known as a reflex angle. Notice that the angle wraps all the way around. It is not between those two lines as you might visually expect it to be, but goes around on the outside. This is what makes it a reflex angle. All angles divide the plane into two separate areas, the interior of the angle and the exterior of the angle. On the left, the point D is on the interior of the angle ABC, and on the right, the point D is in the exterior of angle ABC. Recall that two angles are adjacent if they share a common vertex and a common side between them. So that in this example, angle DBA is adjacent to angle ABC because they share side BA and they share the vertex B. We say that two angles are congruent if their angles have equal measure. We say that the angle bisector of an angle is a ray which separates the angle into two congruent angles. Here we have angle ABC bisected by ray BD. This means that BD is the angle bisector of angle ABC. When two angles have measures which add up to 90 degrees, we define these to be complementary angles. On the other hand, when two angles have measures whose sum is 180 degrees, we say that these are supplementary angles. When two lines intersect, four angles are formed. We say that the pairs of non-adjacent angles in opposite position are called vertical angles. So here we have two lines intersecting at point O, and angles AOB and angle DOC would be vertical angles, and angle AOD and angle BOC would be vertical angles.